Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey um, with uh, Sudden Shift. Um, I finally got a problem fixed that a lot of people were having, so I'm basically going to show you how I fix this problem. It is the problem with the B16 Nissan Sentra 2010. Yes, I'll be working on Juniper again. Um, a lot of people were having problem with the iPod integrations, so I finally got that fixed recently, so I thought I'd walk you through how to fix it and everything, so you could enjoy iPod integration on your Sentra as well. All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is me again, I'm back. All right, so um, these are the uh, things you're gonna need. I imagine you had some of these already trying to get it to work, but all right, and I'll show you how to hook it up and everything. So it's basically pretty much common sense. All right, so what you're gonna need are these. First of all, you're gonna need this little number. Uh, you can order it usually from Amazon or something like that. This is the official port to 30 pin for the Nissan Sentra. It plugs right to your center console. See, and then there's your 30 pin side. There's that, just plugs in like that. That's the front, just plugs right in. And then you basically do that. So, yep. Um, this is the 30 pin to lightning for the uh, fifth generation iPod or iPhone, or iPhone 5S. Uh, I might have missed one, but you pretty much get the gist. So, yep, this is a genuine iPod cord right here. So, you're going to need this. Uh, if you go try, try to go the route of the generic ones because they're cheaper, don't because your iPod will spit it back out at you saying that your accessory is not supported and it's not going to play it and basically you just wasted your seven bucks or whatever. Believe me, I tried it. Genuine iPod cord, very important. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I tried a generic unsupported one. It was a little one, didn't think it'd make a difference, made a whole lot of difference because it refused to let that play. So, yes. And then lastly, but and possibly most importantly, you need one of these. Everybody should know what these are. This is, of course, fifth generation iPod. Touch, what you're trying to play your music from. I got it in the survivor case because I'm accident prone. Anyway, so yeah, that's all three of them there. And uh, let me remove some of the stuff I have in the dash, or sorry, center console. I guess I got a whole ton of stuff in here. So you can see this easier. So maybe we can get this plugged in and we can put some of this stuff to rest or whatever. So yeah, just unplug that. I'll put that there for now. Just shove everything up front, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. As I was saying, with uh, the unsupported accessory, I just found it by the way, it was in the center console. With this, this thing right here was what was causing me so much trouble. This is an unsupported accessory. Apple does not endorse this. This is one of those cheap things that you'd probably find on the internet somewhere. This thing caused me all the problems. So, no, don't use that. Unless you have some sort of workaround for it. I'm pretty sure there's a tweak for it. But, yeah, doesn't work. Don't try it. Bad. All right, so this is what you need to do. Okay, first of all, you need to take this, of course. This, as I said, Nissan adapter goes into your steering wheel so you can use these lovely controls over here. Yep, just basically take this. There's a port in there. Let me see if I can get a light in there. So you can see it. Come on. And there we go. Yep, you see that in there? The iPod. 
up. Hang on. The iPod thing port. What you need to do is you need to plug it into there. So you basically take that cord, plug it into there, like so. And basically plug it into there, you'll hear it. It's got a uh, it's got a button in there for releasing it over there. So basically if you need to pull it back out, just push that button toward the front of the center console, pull it out, no big deal. Alright. Next, let me turn off my flashlight right quick. Okay, for the next part, we've got this part right here. And you might have a cover on it, so let's assume you do have a cover on it. So we'll put that right there. Got a cover on it. Take the cover off. Now remember, do not use that piece. Use the genuine iPod cord that you paid 30 bucks for. Believe me, it makes a world of difference. What you'll end up doing is put that on like so. And so now, instead of just this black cord, you've got this black cord hooked into this white one right here. All right, so now you've got these parts hooked up together. I'm gonna put that in there because I don't need it. And now you've got this whole thing hooked up, just, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've gotten that hooked up and everything, and now we've got this, this cord right here. So with this cord, what you're gonna wanna do next Yep, so you've got that right there, and you've got your cord right here, so what you're going to want to do, obviously, for, sorry, is plug this into here, hang on, with the one I make, or with the one I have, you have to apply a little bit of extra pressure, so that this will successfully hook up into there, and now, when your iPad, now, when you turn the key, this is probably going to be your favorite part, was mine definitely. You've got that. They played for a national title just two years after. They've got that. Just wait a minute. And then successfully, it does say end file, but hang on. That's when you usually go to your iPod menu. And as you can hear in the background, just got iPod menu. And uh, from here, instead of just browsing through your iPod or whatever, you can either, I guess, go this way or you can go this way. I prefer to go over here. But, uh, here you can go, uh, songs, genres, composers, playlists, artists, albums, songs. Yep, so, uh, basically, when it takes you into, uh, let's go to artists, for example. Select an artist, I don't know. Uh, it takes you through all your artists. For all intents and purposes, let's just go with Paramore. Okay. Pretty popular band. Albums. Does albums. So you can select an album or whatever. And so, I don't know. There's 
self-titled EP seems to be pretty popular, so. And you can go through their songs. Which, they got all this wonderful stuff or whatever. And while it does that, it adjusts it kind of. And basically, at this point, you're like, oh, I don't like 6 out of 29 or whatever. You don't have to put up with that. Of course, you can disable the clock. It'll just display the track time instead. Display text. You can go with album title, artist name, song title. On title. Yeah, basically it just gives you those three options. I usually just go with artist name. So, yep. Now, on to the next part. You can do that. And you can do the whole seek track over here. Or, you're driving down the highway going 65 miles an hour. Last thing you want to do is take your eyes off the road. That's why you can do this. You've got this, since it's integrated to your steering wheel controls, just press up, seven out of 29, or press it down uh, three times, one to go back to the beginning and one to go down two tracks. So, yeah. So, uh, that's how I got my uh, Nissan Sentra to work with my my fifth generation iPod. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, go ahead. Didn't see a real comprehensive thing about how to make one of these work on YouTube, so I figured I'd do it. So um, hopefully this helped you guys, and hopefully now you get your Nissan Sentra to playing your favorite tunes as you're driving down the road. Um, other than that, I really can't think of anything else to say other than, uh, I don't know. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe. This has been Jeff with Sudden Shift, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.